Art for me now has, has become a necessary part of my makeup. For me, it, it soothes my soul and it, it relieves my anxiety. And I get out and I paint, and it's a, it just seems to be like a natural release, which, which relaxes me. I mean, some people meditate. Maybe it's just my form of meditation. For me now, it's, it's, it's a, yeah, it's a big part of my life. It's, um, at this point, it's, it's the major part of my life. I got described once as a, uh, an uninstitutionalised artist, which is now pretty much how I introduce myself because it, it kind of sums me up perfect. I, I never went to art school. I'm not a specific kind of an artist. I love the fact that I can paint whatever I want to paint. For me, I just I love that creative process. It, it's it, it's what uh, that's why I keep doing it. That's why I thrive on it. Like it's it's it's, it's, on the, it's open to my interpretation. And you know, if people like it, they like it. I hope people like it. You should be able to like it just because you like it. You know, I get inspired by everything. Walking around, I think, I think everybody you meet has something to inspire you. Like everybody has something to give. Every single person, if you can just sit there and take the time to just listen. If you listen to people, everyone's got something to inspire you by. Everyone's, everyone's on a path, everyone's on a journey. And you can pick pieces from that. As an artist, it's, 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 it's free inspiration wherever you go. Like it's, it's gold. It's, Turn it on the television of life. So why am I here? I'm here to paint 14 pieces in 14 different locations around Indonesia. Each of those paintings will be documented using time-lapse photography to produce a sight and soundscape like never before. These pieces will then be auctioned off to raise money for Nathan's Bequest, a charity organisation set up to raise money and awareness for mental health. Salamat pagi. Salamat pagi, my friend. We've just, uh, we've just come to the shop. They've made the easel. It is the best easel I've ever had. Um, considering the one that I've been using, I made myself in the cellar at the Annandale out of scrap timber. So this is kind of pretty fancy for me. He's made the, stretch the first bit of linen. It's, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. We, uh, yeah, cool, yeah, bagus. Okay, so we'll jump back in three days. Lagi three days. Terima kasih, ya. Terima kasih. People go, oh, do you think a lot when you paint? What do you think about? That's a common question that people kind of ask. But for me, I really don't think that I consciously think. If that makes any sense. I can relate it probably best to the one of the first pieces I painted. I kind of felt like I was standing there naked. When you are painting like that, it is such a personal expression. As soon as I did that brush in and started painting, it would have been two or three hours before I even lifted my head. And when I did lift my head, I'd finish this piece. And it uh, it was just it was a mind blowing blowing experience. Like it was almost like an it was almost like an out of body experience. I've come out here today at uh, Tuiluatu to paint, to the source of location for, for the first painting. I've got 14 pieces to paint while I'm out here in uh, Indonesia. I've got quite an affiliation with this place one of the first places I ever came to when I was coming over here to go surfing when I was 17, 18 years old. So we're going to pop down here, down now, and, and uh, have a chat to the boys and see if uh, 
We can't sort something out. Un unusual request, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Now what do you think it's paid? Just tell the boys. Yeah, I'll, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, like, like what? Maybe 50 Aussie a day or something? That was a good result. Basically just had to settle on a price, so it did a little bit of haggling for the to be able to use the space for the time that I want to. So yeah, that's a fantastic result. Um, we got it. I'm stoked. <laughs> it's the best spot ever. So yeah, finished the first piece, so pumped. It's taken three days to get it done. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased. It's come out really, really good. One down, 13 to go. So we'll be off after this, pack it all up, and um, source the next location. Surfing for me has always been a release. It's, it's always been that thing that I resort back to when you know, have tough days or tough weeks. It's just always been that thing that's kept me on a level playing field. Like most things, it's something that you take for granted until there comes a time you can't do it. And for me, that all happened on that Sunday afternoon at the Anadar Hotel. I headed into work that day, just like any other day. I woke up in the morning, put your pants on, off you go. And then a fire broke out in this hub. I was forced to step in and break it up. The next thing I know, I'm heading to hospital in an ambulance. Well, the outcome of that trip to hospital was a brain hemorrhage and, and a few seizures. That next 18 months for me was just a roller coaster, up and down, good moods and bad moods. And because you don't have the visible scars of, you know, walking around with a sling on your arm, everybody just assumes that you're okay. It actually took me 18 months before I was went to the doctor and diagnosed with depression and anxiety. The idea uh, behind each location is, is to find somewhere kind of unique, which can either be something personally attached to me and, and just is spectacular basically, just to add an extra element to the creation of the painting. Come out to Ubud to scout for the next location. I picked coming up to Ubud because it's quite a cultural part place in Bali. It's, it's a, lot, a, lot, a lot of the carving and painting is done up here. The whole idea of the, of the time lapse videos is to, to create an interesting background. This place has got ducks, it's got plenty of people working in it. Just all those elements that make a, a living and breathing rice paddy. So, yeah, we've probably looked at at least a dozen today and we've stumbled on this one which is which is looking pretty pretty spectacular the place has a real way of getting under your skin it's the sounds and the smells and the taste it, it, it's just yeah it's really appealing the Balinese people in, in themselves are extremely talented artists and carvers and Everywhere you walk or drive, you've got somewhere, someone working away on a statue or an amazing painting. So it's, it is pretty inspiring just being here amongst all that anyway. And then the people themselves are just super friendly all the time, always got a good vibe, smiling face. I think uh, yeah, one of the main reasons for them being so, so happy is, that, is just the way, they, the way they carry themselves. It's, it's the classic you know, treat people the way you want to be treated and, and that's how you judge. So to me, you know, they just, nothing's a bother and their lifestyles are so easy and uncomplicated. It's like, you know, it's just a, it's a beautiful way to live. The most important thing that I want to come out of this whole project is if the whole project gets in one person's ear and stops them or helps them through 
at their difficult time, then it's the goals achieved. If you pay us to show you the life has been keeping. Just leave the door open, it's our little seat.